Hi, I'm Roxy Lang. Welcome to Children's Church on Saturday, September 12, 2020. And it's a beautiful day, even though it's a little chilly out here. It's uh, a little bit cooler than we're expecting in September, but it's still a beautiful day that the Lord has given us today, isn't it? Have you had a wonderful day? I hope so. It's been a wonderful day for, for me, and I hope you've had a great blessed day also from the Lord because every day he wants to wait he wants you to wake up and realize the blessings that that he has given you and he has so many blessings that he gives us we thank the Lord for so many things that he has blessed us with so today we have a story that is called Jesus enters Jerusalem and that is kind of getting towards the end of Jesus life on earth here when he goes to Jerusalem. So we're gonna read that story today. And we'll say our prayers and sing a couple of songs and get, get on with our children's church for today. <clears throat> so Father in heaven, we just thank you for this wonderful day that you have given us today, these cool days. And we thank you, Father God, for the skies and the green trees. We thank you for the wind and the rain that you have given us to keep the grass nice and green. And we thank you, Father God, for life. We thank you for being able to sleep so well at night. And Father, we pray for peace over this world. We thank, we thank you, Father God, that you are in control. We thank you for direction that you give us, Father God, and guidance. And we thank you, Father God, for your son, Jesus Christ, for dying on this cross for our sins so that we can live eternally in heaven with you. So thank you for your great promises to us in Jesus' name. Amen. First song we'll sing, and we haven't sang this one for a little while. It's one of my favorite songs. Oh, be careful, little eyes. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what we see. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what we see. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little eyes, what we see. Oh, be careful, little ears, what we hear. Oh, be careful, little ears, what we hear. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little ears, what we hear. Oh, be careful, little tongue, what we say. Oh, be careful, little tongue, what we say. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little tongue, what we say. Oh, be careful, little hands, what we do. Oh, be careful, little hands, what we do. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little hands, what we do. Oh, be careful, little feet, where we go. Oh, be careful, little feet, where we go. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little feet, where we go. So we've got to be careful with our lives and what we do with with what we see, what we hear, what we talk about, what we do with our hands and where we go with our feet. And we have to make sure that we're always doing things that the Lord would want us to, to do. If he's looking at us and saying, ooh, they're going the wrong direction and they're watching the wrong things. And we want to be mindful of that, don't we? And get back on the right track that, that the Lord wants us to be on. Because you know what? When we're doing what the Lord asks us to do and we're following his word and following his lead and direction and guidance, then we'll be much happier in life when we do that. <coughs> Heavenly Sunshine is the next song we'll sing. Heavenly Sunshine, Heavenly Sunshine, Hallelujah, Jesus is mine. Heavenly Sunshine, Heavenly Sunshine, Hallelujah, Jesus is mine. And it's kind of a gray day today, but it's always sunshiny in heaven, isn't it? It's going to be a wonderful, sunshiny, beautiful, marvelous, glorious place in heaven. So we thank God for that heavenly sunshine that he pours down upon us. And the last song that we'll sing today is His Banner Over Me Is Love. And we haven't sang that one for a little while here neither. <coughs> The Lord is mine and I am his, his banner over me is love. The Lord is mine and I am his, his banner over me is love. The Lord is mine and I am his, his banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. 
He brought me to his banqueting table, his banner over me is love. He brought me to his banqueting table, his banner over me is love. He brought me to his banqueting table, his banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. He lifted me up into heavenly places, his banner over me is love. He lifted me up to heavenly places, his banner over me is love. He lifted me up to heavenly places, his banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are the branches, his banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are the branches, his banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are the branches. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. And that's kind of a fun song too, isn't it? The Lord is mine and I am his. And he has a wonderful banner of love over us. A banner of protection. A banner of joy. A banner of strength. His banner is a great banner of protection and love of the Lord over our lives. And God is so good so good to us and we have to remember how good the Lord is to us each and every day because sometimes we forget about the, the Lord's goodness in our lives don't we so we'll read our story the Jesus Bible for kids and our story is Jesus enters Jerusalem <clears throat> okay Let's see if we can get this get this in here <clears throat> excuse me Jesus enters Jerusalem. It was a springtime Sunday in Jerusalem, and the city was packed to bursting. It was a special time, for it was the week of the Passover festival, and everyone had gathered to celebrate. There was something else to celebrate, too, for Jesus had come to Jerusalem, and everybody gets excited when Jesus comes, don't they? People had heard about the miracles he had performed, and while the religious leaders weren't too keen on him, many of the people saw Jesus as their true king, and they tried to give him a king's welcome. He probably didn't look much like a king, though. Where was his chariot? Where were the trumpets? Where were the servants? No. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, he was riding on a young colt, a donkey. A humble donkey that his followers had fetched from a nearby village. But that didn't stop the excitement. Some of the crowd threw their cloaks or large palm leaves on the dusty ground before Jesus so the donkey could walk on the on the palm leaves or on their coats. Others waved the palm leaves high in the air and they cried out, Hosanna in the highest! Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord, the king of Israel. Many of the people hoped that Jesus would be their king. Jesus is a good king, isn't he? A leader who would free them from the Romans but they were thinking of the wrong kind of king, weren't they? They didn't understand that this kingdom wasn't in this world, but the kingdom of Jesus was in heaven. Jesus came to earth to die for our sins so that we could join him in his heavenly kingdom. And that's the best kingdom of all, isn't it? It's the kingdom of heaven. And that's why it's so important to give our lives to Jesus so that we can go to heaven and live with him forever there. And soon, their elation, their excitement, would turn to bitterness and disappointment when he did not do 
what they wanted him to do. But for now, they were excited and were making quite a stir. Some of the religious leaders didn't like it at all, and they told Jesus to stop his followers from making so much noise. Jesus looked at them. If they remain quiet, if they are silent, Jesus said, then the stones themselves would have to cry out. Jesus knew that his mission on earth was almost finished. And he knew that in a short time, these people cheering him on would eventually turn against him. Before coming to Jerusalem, Jesus had told his friends, the disciples, that when he came to the city, all the things that the prophets had spoken about would come true. The Son of Man would be condemned to death. He would be mocked and hurt and crucified. But three days later, he would be raised to life again, raised from the dead. Right now, the disciples didn't understand the truth. But Jesus knew exactly what was going to happen to him. And he never ever thought about not going through with the plans that God had for him. For he knew it was God's will and that it was the only way to save those that he loved for all time, to save us, the people, his people, his people that he loves. He loves all his people. And Jesus knew that the only way that he could save us from our sins was for him to, to die and go on, go on the cross for our sins. <clears throat> so did you like that story that, that we read today of, of Jesus on his way to Jerusalem? And all the people were excited and they wanted to see Jesus as king. But they didn't realize that he wasn't the kind of earthly king that they were looking for, like, like King David or all the other kings that had been on, on the earth and, and ruled in the lands. Jesus is a different kind of king. A king of kings, king of kings over all the entire world and we give our lives to him. A king that can, the only king who can forgive us of our sins, who died on the cross for us so that we can live eternally in the kingdom of heaven when our time on earth is done. So is there something special that you liked about about that story? You think of something especially that might have touched your heart? Well, Jesus is the King of Kings. And Jesus knew and he, he told his disciples all about what was going to happen, didn't he? And I liked it that the, the people were all excited about Jesus coming into Jerusalem. They were so excited and they laid their, their cloaks or coat, coats down and the palm leaves and they were so excited they had a big celebration for Jesus and that was exciting. So that's one part of the story that I like that, that it was they were so excited to have Jesus coming into Jerusalem and they were just so excited that uh, for, for having him into his town that they that they even made a made a path for him out of their out of their coats and out of palm leaves and they were just so excited. And once you do that for Jesus, if he was coming, once you make a special path for him to follow, maybe laying your coat down for him to step on or laying some special cloth down for Jesus to walk on because Jesus is such a special, special person, isn't he? A special savior, a special king. He is a king and that's what they were waiting for. Um, even though they didn't realize it was the wrong kind of king they were waiting for. But um, once Jesus uh, died on the cross and rose again and they knew exactly what kind of king that Jesus was. The only king that we could ever want, the only king that we could ever expect Jesus to be is the king, our savior. He died and, and rose again so that we could live forever with him. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. And remember to share this and uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and share it with your neighbors and friends and all your cousins and brothers and sisters because we all need to know the love of Jesus, don't we? So thank you so much for watching and God loves you, Jesus loves you, and I love you. And we'll have another day of Children's Church tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you so much.